Look at these two. A drawer full of shirts and I am packing them away. I ended up calling AAA today to have them come pick up my car. Maybe you're going to miss them when we move. Aww. I can fit in this one! Whee! And we are now on official weather watch. Good morning, guys. It's Monday, May 31st. It's Memorial Day, so I have another day off from school, which is quite nice. I am getting spoiled with these long weekends, but it'll be back to work tomorrow. I only have two more weeks left until I'm done. Dan's all done, so he gets to be home all the time. Pretty soon that'll be me too, but actually I'll be working retail still part-time up until we actually get to move. Since the last vlog, I don't think there's anything to update on. When you vlog every day, there's not always something to talk about, but maybe throughout the week there'll be more to talk about. Anyway, I am going to start getting ready for the day. I'm planning to just do some packing, editing the last vlog, and wedding stuff. Stuff that we normally do. Look at these two. Patches likes to use Georgia's butt as a pillow. And Georgia's just like, okay. You're so cute. It is Tuesday. I no longer work. I'm a bum now, yay! I am home with the kitties. Patches is, is watching some Netflix with me. Watching Bo Burnham. Which, he filmed this all during the pandemic and during quarantine, which I feel sad for him, but at the same time, this is kind of funny. Today I'm doing packing, actually. I am doing my part in actually packing um, going through a drawer full of shirts and I am packing them away. I have this thing to help me fold because I am shit at folding clothes. Uh, these are all the shirts that I am probably gonna gonna donate or get rid of somehow. I'm being very cautious because this room has become so full of boxes and things like that. I have to clear another path to our wedding stuff. Abby's car wouldn't start this morning, so I'm effectively stuck here. She took my car because she needed to get to work, which is very important uh, that she she managed to, to get to work because she's got work for the next few weeks or next week or so. It is also a scary thought that I just want to point out. We have three weeks until the wedding, which is scary in my mind. It's like, in three weeks, I'm bearing the love of my life, and it's so close so close and it's scary again to think about because again in a few days then it's gonna be uh now we only have two weeks until the wedding and then one week and then oh crap there's the wedding everything pretty much for the wedding is finalized everything's good to go only thing that i'm having trouble with is fucking flower petals like rose petals for our uh flower girl which story time i ordered uh, freeze-dried blue, they're dyed blue, uh, freeze-dried rose petals for the wedding back on the 28th of April. Figuring, okay, yeah, it's got plenty of time to, uh, travel from their facilities to get here. It is now June 1st, my dudes, and it's not here. They said, please allow for nine days worth of shipping. I gave them an entire month, and I've received zero, zero updates. And it's getting to be a bit crun uh, crunch time now. I have some other ones that are sort of lined up here. According to reviews of this place, they can sell them to me and they can get here within a few days. I don't know if the video is live yet as far as the Bachelor Bachelorette party, but that Angela has forgiven me to some degree. She's gonna get back at me and I know it. And that's what our friendship is! And you've known each other for 20 plus years. That's what happens when you've known each other for that long. Is that you, like, you know what buttons you can push to get away with shit. And they'll still like you. It also doesn't help that 
when you make the gift, it's a nice gift that they would actually like and wear and things like that. Hi. It has been a whirlwind of a day today. So, I... First, I'm going to talk about what's going on with my car. So yesterday morning, I went to go start it, to go to work, and it wasn't starting. It was like revving, um, like, but not actually like firing up. At first, I was suspicious that it may have been the battery. So I ended up taking Dan's car to work and back because I needed to get to work. And I also worked the second job that day too, so I really didn't have time to investigate at all. I ended up calling AAA today to have them come pick up my car. Hello. Huh? I said hello. Hello! So anyway, AAA gets here and he tries to jump start my car. Long story short, he like goes in and like fires it up and like, did he like press on the gas while firing it up? How did he get it to work again? Yeah. Pressed his foot all the way down the gas pedal. While while turning the key. While turning the key. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it fired up. So it seemed like the engine was flooding with fuel or something like that. But anyway, I ended up not having to have my car towed. I was able to drive it to the car place. But it was, it was acting weird when I drove it. It was like... Like, when I pressed down on the gas, it took a really long time for it to actually speed up. It was really weird. Um, so when I brought it in, I just kind of explained what was going on, how I thought it was the battery, but it may not be, but to check it anyway, just in case, and to check the engine to see if there was something up with the engine. Um, and I needed an oil change anyway, so I was like, might as well do the oil change. So I'm leaving it there. They said that they probably won't look at it until tomorrow morning, so I'll have to take Dan's car to work again tomorrow, possibly even Friday. So yeah, car trouble on top of everything else. And then um, Dan's currently outside working on the yard. We bought some weed killer, so hopefully that will solve our problems because we keep getting warnings about our yard, even though, and now he's starting the weed whacker, but we just weed whacked on Friday and today's Wednesday, and it all grew back immediately, and so we got another warning about it, so. But the baby ground dogs are out there. Look at them. They're so cute. Abby really likes them. Abby's going to miss them when we move. Aww. They're little babies. They're not very big. They're being very cute. What else is happening? Uh, meeting with our officiant this weekend. Uh, we're just going to go over some basic ceremony plans because there's some hiccups going on with the their work schedule. We're going to go over some basics there. We're also going to practice not work. I don't know if Abby mentioned it, but we are doing something called hand fasting, which is kind of a Celtic Gaelic thing. You tie a knot between the couple officially as a sign that we are now married. Uh, we have the cords and everything along those lines. So yeah, we're really excited. Also really excited to meet with our photographer later on tonight. Because I think we're just going to be going over some details about what the plan is, where they want to be set up, and everything along those lines here. Uh, and yeah, that's that. 16 days. So we got two weeks and two days. So we got some more registry gifts in the mail and one of the biggest pet peeves I think we mentioned before is the gift wrapping situation. I can fit in this one! Whee! But that's the gift wrap that it comes in. Is it's these people bags. Size. These bags. They're so they're good intentions, but very poorly executed. Oh, and Dan just hit his head. But we just got a uh, shoe organizer from but my grandfather. I also want to compare his like... Yeah, so this was what we got and that was the bag that it came in. What the hell? That noise that you're hearing right now is our air conditioner because we gave in and we put it in because it is just too hot to be without one. We have it in our bedroom, this one right here. And we're keeping our bedroom door closed as much as possible so that way this room at least stays nice and cool. 
we had said that we weren't going to be putting in an air conditioner this year because we're going to be moving soon anyway, but we gave in and we did it because the heat is just so unbearable. And tomorrow it's supposed to be like 93 degrees or something ridiculous like that. We did not vlog that much this week. Um, I had a rough couple of days with my car and everything. I can't remember if I even said, but it was the battery that was what was wrong with it. I got it back on Thursday and all is well. Today we did a lot of wedding stuff. I paid the limo service in full. I got things finalized with my hairdresser. I talked to my videographer. We did a lot today. And we are now on official weather watch when it comes to the wedding. We can now see, for some websites, we can see up to 14 days before. And as of right now, the temperature is looking good. It's looking like around 73 to 75. Um, there is a chance of rain so far, about like a 25% chance. And when we checked one site, it said it was going to be in the evening, and then the other site said it was going to be in the morning, so we don't really know too much yet. As it gets closer, the weather will be more definite. So yeah, that's about it for this vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs> One of the few situations where I'm like, Dan's just like, let me use some tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit the fuck down because apparently I'm gonna be. <laughs> Son of a. You have scissors available. No! <laughs> <laughs>